three down there. Oh, look, a normal shrimp. Another look normal shrimp. <laughs> you see the, see the normal shrimp? We actually keep the shrimp. You know? I know, we think they're... they're yeah, what well, we call them, sometimes when we don't get big ones, they call them medium. Look at that. Medium. Look, look, he's over there. Yeah. <laughs> they're going up here. Look at this guy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, like you said, look at the eyes on it. Okay. Like, no. <laughs> never seen anything like it. Today we're going to cook some of those colossal shrimp we caught over at Swanee. And look at the size of the thing. Look at the size yeah, of it. Look at that shrimp. Put it in your hand. Just compare it. What's there, 17 of these to a pound? 17, yeah, there's 17 but they're, they're without the heads. Yeah. And it's a, a pound yeah. strip. Yeah. Exactly. You put the heads exactly on those things and they were enormous. They, they were like huge. lobsters. They were real big. So, so what, what up? So what we got to do first is, of course, take the shells off and devein those shrimp. And then um, we'll get the put the shrimp in here and marinate it for a while. So what you're going to need for this is four tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of it will be melted and put in the marinade. You need about a quarter cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of Old Bay, a half a teaspoon of basil, a quarter teaspoon of thyme, one tablespoon of parsley flakes, a half a teaspoon of Tony Zachary and one teaspoon of lemon juice, and two teaspoons of granulated garlic. What we use to devein these shrimp is this deveining tool. It works pretty good. You don't have to, you can rip them off with your hands, but uh, we just run it through here, and we leave the last segment or the tail on. So you got something to hold it with. You can see the vein. I think there's a show off. Put the vein right there. We'll take that out. And underneath the shrimp, you see another vein here, and that's a bloodline. And you can leave that there. That's like in a fish. So you have the bloodline in a fish. So it's the same thing. So you can eat that. They're so big. Yeah, look at the size of the bloodline. But that's not really, you know, something you got to take out. You just leave that in there. And this one didn't have any vein in it. it comes I, out with the shell sometimes. I weighed one, just one of those shrimp, the big ones, mm -hmm. by itself, and it weighed almost an eighth of a pound really? for one shrimp. Yeah. That's a big shrimp. That's a big shrimp. <laughs> it's the biggest shrimp we ever caught. I took the biggest one out of there and weighed him. Okay, first we're gonna melt the butter. I like to do the melting of the butter on the stove rather than the microwave. Might take a little bit longer, but I just, I don't know, just done it for so long like this. Okay, the butter's just about melted. Turn everything off and just keep stirring, it'll melt. Let it sit there. Well, that's finishing the melting. Just put your spices in a nice baking dish. Stir it up a little bit. And then pour the butter in. olive oil. I use the this uh, light olive oil for out when you saute them out on the griddle. And this is just regular olive oil for the marinade. You need a 
quarter cup, so it's about three tablespoons will go in there. Equal to about a quarter of a cup. Just mix that up in there. Just get everything mixed up in there. Just, so it's all, all blended with the oil and the butter. And you dump the shrimp in. And just toss them around so they're fully coated. Now we'll put the lemon juice in. And just stir that again. That's all nice. They're all nice and coated. Let them sit for 20 minutes. And they'll be ready to put out on the, the griddle. So Joyce, what are you cooking here to go with it? Well, I've got steamed broccoli with, with uh, garlic. And in here is potatoes. I'm going to make mashed potatoes. And what I put in there is olive oil, garlic, and Parmesan cheese. And we'll mash them. It's, yeah, they're done. So we'll be mashing them up. Well, the 20 minutes is up for the, for the shrimp. I'll be putting them on the griddle. But you have to get... When you work out there, it works fast. So you got to have all your other sides all ready to go to put on your plate. So we're going to mash the potatoes right now. Just add a little bit of milk. Get it incorporated in there. Just a little bit more milk. And just turn it up on high and whip them up like this thing. Cover them, put them back on the burner that's off. The broccoli is also done. Now we'll go out and cook the shrimp. When I cook on the, the griddle, I use the uh, olive oil that's for sauteing and stir frying because the other olive oil tends to burn and gets the griddle sticky. We'll put a little bit of that on here. It's hard to see. It's so dark so early. We'll take the butter and just smear that around in there. And put a little more olive oil so it doesn't the butter doesn't burn. Look at the size of that guy. He's so big. That's a big shrimp. There's a big old man. shrimp. And they smell good. There's another big one. It will take about a minute and a half on one side and a minute and a half on the other side. Well, that's pretty fair. Mm-hmm. Look here, you can see what they're doing on that side. They're going to burn away. Oh, yeah, they're cooking nice. But I use this warm water. It's going to cool the grill, griddle down a little bit so they don't burn. Look how pretty they're going to be. Look at that. That is really nice. They're almost ready to turn. 
Okay, now we're going to flip them. I should wear my apron so the grease splatters all over. Yeah, you should. I should. I ruined many shirts. You got aprons. I got aprons. I forgot to put them on. Don't want to get them dirty. No, don't want to get them dirty. These, I can't wait to eat these. These are going to be really good. Yeah, these are good. Like I said, they taste so sort of like lobster. Mm-hmm. When they get this size. And you sure don't want to overcook them because they do get tough because I oh, made that yeah. mistake. Stop thinking they're because you can basically almost eat them raw, so I guess you can people eat stuff raw, but not me. Another shot of water. They smell good, don't they? They smell too good. They are done. Wait, turn your screw off. Well, these shrimp really look good, Joyce. And they're giants, aren't they? Yeah, real big. And they smell good. And I'm sure they're going to taste good. So what else you got here? This is mashed potatoes with uh, garlic and Parmesan cheese and broccoli. And homemade tartar sauce again. Yeah. We say that every time. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to try one of these colossal shrimp? I think so. Let's see. We'll take There's a giant. We'll take that one. Take this one. I would just like so different than some of the smaller oh, yeah. ones look, we look catch. Look how thick. What's that? An inch thick? No, it's at least yeah, it's three got quarter a, or more. Yeah. yeah, it's at least three quarter or more. Mm. Good. Perfect. Good. All nice and moist. You can see the moisture inside. Oh yeah, look at nice. Mm -hmm. Looks yep. like lobster, doesn't it? Tastes like lobster. It's like uh, in between lobster and shrimp. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Good. Yeah, I hope they come back next season, too. I do, too. So if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching.